there. This should only take a couple hours, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see how we go. So we did make it to Mars, we've landed, and now we've got to try and get as many people as possible to like a, a specific pyramid with a green floor. I don't know if tanks have bad line of sight at night or not, I don't remember. But yeah, we need to find the uh, green floored pyramid. I'm guessing tanks a bad line of sight when it's dark. Alright. It's not this, because we can see inside and that has a distinct purple floor. What I might do is if anyone near the front has a blaster. Ooh, but if they mess up, it could kill everyone. Okay, so get to the front of the ship and then fire the blaster. So, you guys haven't seen this before, but oh shit, he can only just fire. So, this is how the blaster system works. What we want to do is just shoot the floor essentially. And once we're down there, we just want to like multi target so that in case one of the targeting systems, well, one of the waypoints fails, it fails a bit more gracefully. At least that's the hope. Kaboom! Wait, did I just try my own tank? No, okay, good. So, what the blasters will do in this situation is, amongst everything else, they'll just give us. Oh, uh, yeah, you should run to the front here. Uh. How much does it take to fire? 53, jeez. Oh, never mind. Um, so the blasters give us a little bit of smoke cover in addition to, of course, killing aliens that they get. We do actually want people to get to ground level. Just so we can make use of all this smoke that we're about to chuck down. Mm, okay. If someone on the other side can also chuck smoke, that would give us complete coverage. Perfect. We just need to fan out, find out where we need to go. Use lots of smoke cover to keep everyone nice and safe. That wasn't actually the best throw because it lost some smoke on the side of that building and that makes this corridor not very well smoked, but that's fine. Um, they can also be... Where's your gun? Oh right, you must be the person who ran out. Wait, no, I don't think we ran out anywhere. Did I just forget to equip one? I must have. Oh my bad, I'm sorry. You can go back and get a gun. I do apologize, my friend. Float up. Sit there until you can get a gun. Uh, so yeah, people, like aliens can be inside these buildings. Um, like the, the pyramids. That's something to worry about. Like they can just pop out and shoot, and some of the pyramids also have windows in them. Uh, these ones don't seem to be right here, but I'm pretty sure some of the other ones do have windows, which they can like see us out of and shoot us obviously. And getting a line of sight into those windows in a what's essentially a night mission is really difficult as you might expect. Uh, we don't want to group up too much just so that if something awful happens we don't all die at the same time. Like grenades, um, blasters. One time I did this mission and they just shot a blaster or maybe we shot a blaster and like it um, it actually just failed inside of the ship and like we lost nearly everyone from one shot. It was it was really awful. As you'd expect it to be. As it should be. Yes. Smoke everything. Is our current memo. We 
We might actually just leave a few people in the ship as well. Because there's not really enough space to maneuver. Um, so we'll just take out maybe half or so of the people. And the rest will just move forward within the ship. And I mostly want to take out people with actual guns and leave the mostly blasters in the ship. Um, yeah, these guys will all just move forward. I need to remember to give that person a gun. I might just point them in a different... never mind. I was going to say point them in a different direction so I can see it more easily, but it's not going to happen apparently. Alright, so there's one right in front of us, we're being mining attacked, Psy attacked already. The one to the left I think that was, another one bottom left, more Psy attack. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, You gotta go berserk, that's the way to do it. That's definitely the way to do it, right. So yeah, heavy plasmas are real good. You can probably take that out. Yep. Easy game. The re main reason I don't take heavy plasmas throughout most of the game is just because I think it makes the game too easy, even on the max difficulty. If you abuse the strongest stuff in the game, it's not that difficult. Um, it's mostly a chore, to be honest, at max difficulty. <laughs> He's like 15 meters away. He fired six shots with a gun that improves your accuracy over 100%, and he missed all of them. This guy's like impossible to hit. He has like a cloak field on him, which I don't know, it's like it makes your soul just see a mirage, who knows. Uh, that's the edge of the map there. The corner is a long way away though. That corner is a bit closer. So most likely we got to move down this way. I'll just try and smack over the pyramid. Perfect. Get a quick look inside. Looks clear. Um, send a moniker in as well. And we'll move a couple more people out. Actually, no, let's go to the tanks to explore. Oh, there's someone over there. Hello, Cyberdisk. Might just use a blaster on that. Uh, I don't want this guy doing it, because if he does, the other person behind him won't better get a weapon, but then again... I guess that's, I guess that's okay. Yeah, we don't need them to have a weapon just yet. Oh, the, the cyber disk is floating. Okay, that makes it a little bit more dangerous, but it's fine. Got it. And my ship is fine. Oh, ship. Hover tank is fine. Alright, that went pretty well. Um, let's get Onigai out into the field. Maybe pop out over here. And you can be joined by... Let's send... Uh, you. Might have tried to pronounce this before. Wozyak. I I really don't know, dude. But in any case, out you go. Oh, there's one right there. And we can't see him like f 10 meters away. Which hopefully means he can't see us either. It's interesting though. I would have expected that close we'd be able to see them. Even through smoke, but I guess not. Uh, I'm kind of pretty happy with everyone else's position. For now. I'll uh, just get the guys in the ship to move up. Oh, 
I might also separate a couple of the blasters from the main group just in case um, someone gets psi attacked. I don't want to lose all of my blasters in one go. I just have a couple of them separated. We don't need everyone alive to finish the mission successfully, but we do need to like make sure nothing catastrophic happens which wipes out almost everybody. That's that's how we lose. We don't lose by taking small hits, we lose by taking extremely large hits all at the same time. Alright, so there'd be mind control, but that's fine. Because I gave everyone with low size strength um lasers instead of plasmas. They can't kill any of our guys unless they shoot them like literally at least a dozen times. Unless they get super lucky. Yeah, that's one down there. That's a plasma rifle, so that's Ooh, the uh Access lift is just here. It's one way entry, just one door, which means the tanks can't come. Unfortunately. Unless I blow a, a hole in the side, I might actually do that. Blasters have that capability. Um, yeah, okay, so I don't want this guy firing because I want him to start moving. Uh, if we had played the, the game a little bit longer, you saw at the very end while I was on Earth, I was finishing the research deck. Um, I unlocked like a, a plasma cutter or something like that, a fusion fusion torch maybe I think it's called. Um, it's a, a melee plasma drill kind of thing. Um, it's useful for just opening up doors and stuff. It's a mod but I think it's a cool mod and a pretty balanced one. But uh, a blaster can do this. That's mind controlled. A blaster can basically do the same thing, it's just, you know, a lot less safe. Alright, so let's let's blow this guy up. Not enough time units. Never mind. Let's not blow that guy up just yet then. Can we shoot it? No, we can. Well, okay. I mean, if we can just shoot him dead, that that works. And he's dead. Perfect. Somebody had smoke still down here, I think. Maybe it was at the top. Yeah. Uh, he has your throwing arm. Pretty good. Um, throwing ability is defined by strength. Accuracy is defined by throwing strength. So his throwing arm is pretty good. He might be able to throw it over there. There we go. And we'll start loading out everyone from the ship. Yummy buttons can throw another smoke grenade if they can reach that far. They can. Perfect. That should give us excellent cover as we go into the access lift. And what I'm gonna do right before we actually hop out for realsies is just give everyone another smoke grenade in their hand. Oh, the ship's probably in the way. What am I doing? Throw. Nice. Alright. So the cover is a little weak over there, but that should be okay once the smoke dissipates a little bit. Oop. There's a dude somewhere back there. Alright, so that's one of the um, buildings with windows in it. This one here. So he was just shooting us through the window and we can't see him because it's night time. I'm just going to sort of move vaguely towards the access lift. Um, I'll start getting my guys to also vaguely move towards the access lift. This area isn't necessarily safe, but there's so much smoke that it should be okay. I think they'll be fine. I think I'll split people into three groups. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get in, we should totally blow the side off. Okay. Um... You can take the shot. Alright, way over there. If it fails, it's fine. Do it this close, people might die. Uh, maybe next turn, actually. Wait, can I not can I not abort this firing? Okay. <laughs> uh it I guess it does one waypoint at a time for the cancellation. Which I mean is fair enough. Alright. 
There's your gun. There's your spare ammo. While you're here, take another smoke grenade. Put in your hand, actually. Another clip, because why not? Plus a box mini grenade. Or two. Because why not? Whatever. Maybe not that one, then. Oh, right, the guy on the ground, who is mind controlled. <laughs> that freaked me out a little bit, trying to figure out what that was. Uh, yeah, we'll do... We'll do the uh, blaster shots next turn. After we've moved our people to safety. The tank might die. It's in the open. Against active shooters. I'm a little worried... ...that we're gonna have issues just based on people getting like mind controlled. But we'll see how we go. Because obviously if someone's mind controlled, I can't get them into the green area, which means that if I progress with the mission, anyone who's there will not be with us in the next part of the mission. But we'll see how we go. Worst case scenario, I can just, you know, not need them. Don't miss. It's just the human race that's counting on you. Alright, we blew one hole. Let's... Take another shot, after reloading. This guy. This guy can take a shot, and then reload himself. Uh, maybe not that one, we don't know if there's a building there. Mm, okay, well, I kinda needed the middle part open, that's fine. Oh, you can't reload. Damn. Must have got unlucky with the rounding. Okay. Uh, Super Cthulhu will take the shot then. Let's get him to fire this way so he doesn't accidentally miss and kill everyone. Which is a good thing to avoid most of the time. Uh, waypoint to there. Uh, to there, to there. And then just some shots in case you miss. Ah, uh, okay, you missed in the middle of nowhere, I forgive you. Kobe, take the shot. Alright, now our tanks can get in. Perfect. Can you reload? No. Well, never mind. Let's... Get inside. There's someone waiting inside. I don't know how the hell they didn't die. Like, dude. <laughs> the wall next to him got completely destroyed. And yet, he's just chilling there. Doesn't really make much sense, but okay. Sure. I hope we can walk over this bit. It's possible we can't. In which case we'll have to, you know, fire again. Otherwise our tanks will not be able to get in. How close can you get? Quite close? You might be able to get inside. Oh, okay, perfect. You can fit. We don't need to worry about blowing it up again. We'll just run away from the guys shooting us, we don't need to kill them. They're not the objective. We gotta play the objective, guys. That is a shitload of Psy. Oh yeah, I should check if my other guy got injured. <laughs> I, it hadn't occurred to me to do that. And he's panicking. Perfect. You are not injured. Oh, you are injured. With a fatal wound, that's bad. Let's heal you up. Fine, he's just one of us, mind controlled. Don't worry about it, dude. Alright. Uh, I think your shot is already centered. 
boys and girls, let us get inside this building. You panicked. I think they're walking around this bit of rock. So once everyone's inside, you press the abort button. You can see the seven in the exit area right now. Um, and anyone who's left behind is just left behind. They just essentially disappear forever. Which is <laughs> bad for them, I guess. Uh, they're just seeing the mic short guy. Reload. And off we go. That's mind control, dude. And solo. Just got shot in the back. Hopefully he's not hurt. Well, more hurt than before, I guess. She appears to not be, which is good. Be sure, I'm gonna get you to sprint half the way. Uh, keep sprinting. Right, and just walk the rest. Mm, I got your sprint a little bit. I just, it's balancing energy versus time units. If you make them sprint the whole way, they're gonna run out of energy before they get there. But if you just walk the entire way, then they're gonna be really slow, basically. I get this guy to sprint. And these two can both sprint a bit, although this guy needs to reload. I think I've made him sprint too far. Yeah, he's nearly out of energy now. Whoops. Oh well. Oh, you've no time minutes, you can just sprint. Alright. So there's the panicked guy that's a problem, and then there's the guy that keeps getting mind controlled we we might as well leave behind. Um, I could fire a shot into the darkness to see if I can get a, another kill, maybe if I can make them panic we don't have to worry about getting mind controlled so much. Down like, straight down there and then there. Just get one level up, and then boom, nope, didn't get anything. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Uh, we might just try one more time using this guy. Once people are out of the way. Um, this shot I'll try and fire into that building that was shooting us out of before. This one, I believe. Oh, I think that shot might have missed. I think it hit the building. That's fine. So that makes this shot easier to make. There we go. That'll hurt their morale a little bit. Um, and if we can hurt the morale and also, you know, just killing them also helps. Then we have a better shot of not getting mind controlled. Oh, it's going to be pretty tedious to go through and give everyone grenades, but I think it's worth it. You're out of ammo, that's fine. Someone else can give you ammo. Just get inside. There's a bunch of people carrying um, spare blaster bombs, is that what they're called? Blaster shells, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, this guy got panicked. Yeah. Alright, your friend will give you a gun. What a bro. What are they called? Lost the bombs, okay. <laughs> this must look so sus. Just a bunch of people walking into the base. Plus, realistically, everyone below us would be like on high alert and like guarding the the way down. 
and they'll just kill us when we got to the bottom. Like, they'll just be waiting with their guns out, but apparently not because of reasons. Okay, so the last people are this person and the mind control dude. Is that good? Still getting mind control, well, Psy attacked. That's fine. It's just a laser. No one's gonna die from it. Oh, also just a laser. Good. Of course you're shooting the wall, which is excellent. Okay, we might have to leave that guy behind. Uh, throw that to your buddy pal friend, who can pick it up. Who's missing... Yeah, you're missing the shot, okay. Uh, if you get inside... And our good friend Yuzu and chuck you some more ammo. Pick it up off the ground and reload it. Uh, sprint, sprint most of the way. Perfect. Now it's just I panicked. Who was mind control before? So if we go now, we're missing one guy, which is pretty good. Um, but we also haven't done the grenades yet, so we'll just take care of that. <sighs> good luck getting out. Okay. Take up your gun and sprint. You're hurt. No, oh, he's gonna slowly die. Uh, we have a mission. Please stop this guy from dying. Not enough energy, that's ironic. <laughs> One step away. Alright. It's fine. He's throwing smoke grenades. No big deal. Oh, Han Solo, come back. God damn it. Alright, we need another. Wow, that's a long way to run. <sighs> Alright. I don't know the hand, it's just annoying. Alright. <laughs> So, we'll give everyone another couple turns to sort their heads out. I don't want to leave all the Psy weak people behind, otherwise, um... I'll pick up your gun. Otherwise, once the, the people who are weak are gone, they're going to start targeting stronger people, and that starts risking, you know, the guys with blasters might get targeted if we keep doing that. So, best practice is to, you know, not do that. The gun on the floor here? Yes, okay. Oh god, I did not mean to click out there. Oh well. Yummy buttons, why do you panic? It is not that scary, they're just aliens who are trying to take over the whole planet. No big deal, dude. It's all Gucci. Alright, so one more turn. And in the meantime... Everyone... Can I not prime that? Damn, that's annoying. Oh, alright. Everyone, get your smoke grenades, you don't have a smoke grenade ready. You can't pick up that one either. Get your smoke grenades out. Not enough time units, never mind. Anyone who doesn't have enough can just not do it. Or anyone who doesn't have one can also just not do it. 
Because I don't want everyone to have... Why do you have that in your hand? Give that to the other guy. And get a smoke grenade in there instead. No, it's fine. This guy should have gotten it, but yeah, it's fine. Um, Alright, see how many buttons who can't get the grenade into his hand, or her hand, I didn't see, to be honest. And then we'll... that's already primed, alright. So, prime, nope, that's already primed, can't. Prime grenade, zero. Prime grenade, zero. Prime grenade, zero. Which just means it explodes immediately. As opposed to like waiting until I think one one might be the end of the turn it explodes. Not a hundred percent sure, to be honest. Huh. Can't quite prime the grenade. Alright. So hopefully no one else runs out in a panic. And Solo wants the party. Okay, we're leaving him behind. Yuji wants the party. Yummy Buttons wants the party. Omaz wants the party. Alright. Whatever. Can this guy grab a gun and get in? Probably not. So just get in. Hand Solo will just be left out to die. <laughs> it's not ideal, but it's what we got to work with. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Well, okay, Han Solo gets a second chance. And everyone else is at risk of dying now. Two got mind controlled. And there goes the grenades I just finished priming, of course. And Solo, get your gun, get your ass inside. What I'm gonna do is block off the exit with Psy strong people. <laughs> Uh, you're not Psy strong, but you're not Psy weak. It's a big thing with Psy strong. Alright. Hopefully no mind controls. If they panic, that's fine. No, nope, that's one mind control. Um. Oh, dude, don't do that. I forgot they could just walk out the door. Alright, whatever. We're cutting our losses, let's go. Just do a quick save. I don't think I'll need it. I'm pretty sure we're doing extremely well. Um, what do we call it? Uh, base lift. 